I am the famous American. Let's talk about Enneagram 7s and how we like to travel. Let's talk about this. Now, recently I became certified as an Enneagram coach. You can check out this book in the link right there below if you want to buy my handy go-to uh, guide on this. This is my favorite source of information to really understand Enneagram better if you're confused. Like, so for me, as an Enneagram 7 with an 8 wing, I actually at first thought I was a number one, a perfectionist, and then I realized, wait a minute, I don't care about being wrong. It's okay to be wrong if you can learn from it. And I thought, oh, well, I'm a three, I'm the achiever. Uh, but I don't really fear failure because I know I've failed a lot in my life and I know that I can overcome it. Well, the overcomer often is a seven because we are the ultimate optimist. So when you look at uh, Enneagram 7, uh, we are motivated by the need to be happy and plan enjoyable activities, contribute to the world, and avoid suffering and pain. At our best, we are fun-loving, spontaneous, imaginative, productive, enthusiastic, quick, confident, charming, and curious. At our worst, we are narcissistic, impulsive, unfocused, rebellious, undisciplined, possessive, manic, self-destructive, and restless. So, I am a seven. Robin Williams would be a prime, prime example of a seven. Chris Pratt would be an easy example of a seven. You can look back at most of their movies and you're going to see a, uh, a, an Enneagram seven personality. But it's funny, in this book, again, this is the Enneagram made easy. They, this is something I love about this book. For each personality, they have a uh, personality inventory. And they have 20 uh, questions you can ask yourself. Basically, if you identify with about 15 of them, it's probably an indication that you are that Enneagram type. But one of the ones specifically, and you'll always see this as you search Enneagram 7, here it is. I love excitement and travel. So, uh, naturally, as a 7, I'm like, well, who doesn't like excitement and travel? Well, some people are motivated by other things more so, and that's not something that's important to them. But let's talk about me and my love for travel. So, uh, for me, age 40, I apparently travel a whole lot and I have traveled a whole lot. So just to put it in perspective, when you, when I was in high school, right before my senior year, I traveled to uh, Ecuador. And uh, let's say a couple years later in college, I went to Trinidad and Tobago. The next year, I spent a summer teaching in Bangkok, Thailand. The next summer, I went back to Bangkok, Thailand, and I also went to Seoul, Korea. A couple years later, my wife and I went to uh, New Zealand. Actually, we kind of traveled all up and down the island there. Uh, and by a technicality, I've also been to Canada as well. My mom's originally from Buffalo, New York. We crossed the border when I was a kid. I've been there actually two times. So uh, I've been to plenty of countries uh, throughout my life. I am I feel fairly well traveled as an American, and I've been all across the United States. Uh, as well and throughout the year I'm always going on vacations. In fact, I was just in uh, Disney World in Florida. I took my family there. So doing a lot of traveling. So it's interesting to, to, to see how that works. I mean there are certain people who they're okay with not traveling but for me it's very important that I'm seeing new things. Now it's also interesting that the Enneagram 7, what is our growth personality? It's an R5 which is the ultimate in introvert. A 7 is the ultimate extrovert, but yet at our best, we become an introvert. And I think that's interesting. So it is true. I'm totally fine being by myself, not having people around. I'm cool with it. I feel comfortable with it. I'm also really good at being in a crowded room and talking to people and, and enjoying that and looking forward to it. And I definitely enjoy travel. So I think it's no coincidence that compared to the average American, I think it's fair to say I've traveled more than most. Funny thing is I've never been to Europe. But I've definitely lived in Asia, I've been in other parts of the world, many other countries, and I've always loved travel, and it's a very important part of my identity. So, if you're familiar with Enneagram, you think you might be a seven, well, consider that you might prove that by how much you love to travel. And again, if you're interested in this book, just click the link, you can get it on Amazon and learn a lot more about it. Because when you start getting interested about Enneagram, you're like, you want to know for sure, well, what, which one am I really though? You can Google it, you can check it online, but man, this book really makes it easy. You like this topic? Let's talk more about it in future videos and the comment section right there.